Are you fed up with the NBA's younger generation? Carl Malone's bunch of knuckleheads that profess to be the answer. Tonight, we envision a more pleasant future filled with Sharif Abdul-Rahim. He's very polite, incredibly skilled, always shows composure on the floor, and he'd only be a college sophomore. Of rookie Sharif Abdul-Rahim. Such a contrast when we first saw him November the 3rd as he went out and displayed all of his offensive skills. Look at this. He goes out on the perimeter, gets to that triple threat position. He can go inside, score for bigger players. He can adapt. He can adjust. He can go on the low block, play with his back to the basket, quickness inside, a nice jump hook. He can also run the floor. He just doesn't get rattled in the middle of action. Got fouled on this play. I just think this guy has grown so much over the past month and a half. And I'll tell you another thing. He's only going to get better. He is so smooth. Humbled last night and losing to the team with the worst record in the league. I think they were surprised by their defense. Tonight, Jim, they don't normally have it, but tonight they will have it at the outset. Do you see how quickly Sharif Abdul-Rahim reads the defense? There's Anthony Taylor. He was brilliant in a 70-second stretch of the fourth quarter where he scored eight points rapidly. Get a record like that. Tom Spencer putting up two early shots. Up the floor, Abdul-Rahim! We mission at the top that Abdul-Rahim can get out and run. And they look for him because why not? He's a great finisher. Last night they were doubling with the point guard. That's what Felton Spencer wants to do, make him turn to the baseline. They don't want to let Sharif Abdul-Rahim do that. A moment. When the ball goes back, inside, Joe Smith just simply does not get body contact. And all of a sudden, that quickness of Sharif knocks him down. Up the floor, Danielle Marshall runs out. Vancouver gets back. They block his shot. They'll try again. They block it again. He'll that's why when Patrick Ewing came into the NBA, he wanted to wear that sweatshirt that he wore at Georgetown. They wouldn't allow him to. Here's Abdul Rahim. Allen called a 20-second timeout when the game was 4 to nothing. Now, this is the first basket and the first points of the second half. Mullen, the miss. Good rebound by Abdul Rahim. Taylor scores. Clean up. Mayberry. That may have been blocked by Joe Smith. Rebound to Sharif. Gets the bounce. Steele, Steele threw it away. What's Steele on Mayberry? Abdul Rahim at 12 of 13 from the line. Lip stitched up. He needs a couple of stitches. Abdul Rahim with that silky smooth low post game. Gonna have the offensive repertoire with their back to the basket like this guy does. Not only is back to the basket, but he can take very, very good tonight. Joe Smith now with 13 points on those two free throws. GM place. The Warriors win 102 to 86.